From having steering wheels falling off while driving, to FDS software being labeled a crash risk, Tesla has been under fire for a lot of manufacturing errors. But these latest faulty steering wheels might put the EV company on the chopping block. Here's everything we know. Apparently, two owners said that their steering wheels became detached while they were driving the car. Investigations revealed that the buyers received their cars without the retaining bolt. For those of you who don't know their car mechanics, it attaches the steering wheel to the steering car. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that was some serious alarm for concern. A friction fit held the steering wheels to the frame, but once force was applied while driving the vehicle, they didn't exactly stay on. Both incidents happened on cars with low mileage on them. One of the families affected, Prerak and Neha Patel, took their grievances to Twitter. Kinda ironic if you ask me. The family provided well-documented proof of the incident. Apparently, they were super excited to receive the Model Y, but their feelings changed when the steering wheel came came off while they were on Route 1 to Woodbridge, New Jersey. Luckily, there was no car behind them, and the driver was able to take the car off the road. Repairs cost the family $103.96, which they weren't too happy paying. It's clearly a manufacturing defect and shouldn't be coming out of anyone's pocket except the company. At first, Tesla was charging the family for the manufacturing defect, but with all the backlash, the company came to its senses and offered to replace the Patel's car. These kinds of incidents attract the attention of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which is now on the case. They're investigating the 2023 Model Y of Tesla's SUV. And you know what they're saying? The NHTSA thinks that around 120,000 vehicles in the U.S. could be facing the same problem. That's not a good look for Tesla, considering Model Y is their top-selling model. But they aren't making any recalls at the moment. The agency will make its decision after conducting a thorough investigation. Tesla might as well get used to the NHTSA poking around in their business. Just last month, the EV maker was in another safety regulation nightmare. Musk's company had to recall about 363,000 vehicles because the agency determined that the full self-driving software that Tesla was so proud of wasn't something to be proud of after all. The NHTSA conducted an investigation. It determined that the supposedly cutting-edge technology led to an unreasonable risk to motor vehicle safety based on insufficient adherence to traffic safety laws. One of the rules the FSD software violated was traveling straight through an intersection while in a turn-only lane. Then there is entering a stop sign controlled intersection without coming to a complete stop and proceeding into an intersection during a steady yellow traffic signal without due caution. Yeah, no wonder they signed off the recall. I think they teach you this stuff on the first day of driving school. And do you know what's even more outrageous? This isn't even Tesla's first steering wheel rodeo. Back in 2020, Twitter user Jason Tuatara made a post about the steering wheel of his Tesla falling off. It didn't create the same traction as the recent two incidents, but it still says a lot about Tesla's history. While we're taking the recall pretty seriously, there's one man who isn't. You guessed it, it's Elon Musk. According to him, the recall was only made for an over-the-air software update, which didn't need the owner bringing their cars to the service centers. And he didn't appreciate people calling it a recall in the first place. According to him, it's very anachronistic and just flat wrong, spoken like a man who's got something to hide. At least Musk was kind enough to offer the over-the-air software update free of charge. Still, Musk can't hide the fact that Tesla did order a mass recall of 3,470 2022-23 Model Y cars last month because the bolts in the second row seat back frames were not secured properly, and so the seat belts could not properly work in a crash. That and the fact that the leading EV company received 18 warranty claims between May 2019 and September 2022 concerning the FDS software. It almost seems like the NHTSA has its hands full with Tesla. They've been investigating the company's driver-assisted technology for several years now, and they had to bring down the hammer even harder when Musk tweeted about adding an option to remove the nag, asking drivers to keep their hands on the steering wheels. One day, Musk and his tweets will be the death of him. In hindsight, it's good that the NHTSA is on Tesla's case. Someone needs to stop the company from rolling out updates that put civilian lives in danger on the road. Last year, there was an eight-car pileup in the Yerba Buena Island Tunnel. Eight-car crash on the Bay Bridge last month is blaming the full self-driving feature of his Tesla.
Now, this happened late Thanksgiving morning, right inside the tunnel at Yerba Buena Island. Because one Tesla vehicle unexpectedly braked. Not to mention all the phantom braking incident reports NHTSA received over the years. I know we all want to crack down on Tesla for this colossal mess up. But interestingly, they're not the only car company going around raising safety questions. Nissan is in similar waters. The Japanese automobile manufacturer revealed to the agency that it'll be recalling 1,100 Nissan Arias, the company's prized electrical SUV. What went wrong here, you ask? Well, they also missed a bolt on their steering wheels. Three units made it to dealer inventories, where it was discovered that the steering wheels had too much play in them. But compared to Tesla, the steering wheel didn't come off. How there were no accidents in either case is beyond me. But if you look at the big picture, vehicle manufacturing errors have led to 35 crashes in Tesla's case. These mostly had to do with the use of automated systems. Unfortunately, 19 people lost their lives during said accidents. As for Nissan, they've had to make three recalls in less than a year. The company had to call back tens of thousands of its Micra cars in the UK after receiving reports of steering wheels becoming loose. And if you go back a couple of weeks, Nissan recalled 59,000 cars because it fitted 3.5 million cars with exploding airbags. Yeah, exploding airbags. And even before that, the company had to call back a total of 51,000 cars over another steering wheel with their Kosh K models. A company representative did reveal that the two steering wheels defects were unrelated. The first one was because of a faulty molding, while the other was due to a manufacturing problem. At least Nissan was nice enough to provide us with an explanation, because Tesla has not issued a statement regarding its recent woes. Um, so that's like 80, 90 percent of the time. I think sometimes people think I spend a lot of time on Twitter. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what gave, why, why they would think that. Uh, that's crazy. Um, the company parted ways with its media department and since then has been relying on Musk to make all the public statements on his Twitter. Not the best of strategies, but here we are. Tesla has had no public relations staff support for years. And if you think about sending an email inquiry to the press office, don't. They won't accept it. Tweet a lot. I, I use my tweets to express myself. <laughs> Some people oh use God. their hair. <laughs> I use Twitter. <laughs> well, but you use your tweeting to, to kind of get back at critics. All in all, Tesla needs to get its act straight. The EV company received a downgrade on the 8th of March, Wednesday, which was bound to happen, considering it's been investigated by a federal agency. Tesla stock dropped 3% to 182 on Wednesday. I, well, I'm trying to do good things, yeah. I mean, saving the world is not... not I mean, but you're trying to do good things and you're a billionaire. I mean, yeah. That seems a little bit like either superhero or supervillain. You have to choose one. Shares are down 11.5% this month. What's more, investment bank Berenberg downgraded Tesla from a buy rating to a hold rating. So it's kind of not looking good for Musk. Let's see how the EV company rises back from this setback. Times a thousand. Yeah. So if we have like a automated bolt driver going in, like what's the RPM and torque settings for the bolt driver? And that's all I have on why Tesla is on the chopping block because of its recent steering wheel problems.